The photo is clear sen. El Franken Dmin is touching the chest of journalist Leanne Tweeden while Tweeden slept on the plane ride home from a USO tour in 2006. Franken, a comedian at the time, has said he intended to be funny but WASNT and added that it's obvious how Leanne would feel violated by that picture. Nevertheless, many news outlets have cautiously reported the act preserved on camera as an accusation, informing answers that Tweeden alleges or says Franken groped her. A sampling of headlines associated press radio anchor says Franken groped, kissed her without consent Fox News Al Franken accused of kissing, groping LA TV host without consent CNN woman alleges Franken groped, kissed her without consent Breitbart photo journalist Leanne Tweeden accuses Sen. Al Franken to fondling, kissing her without consent New York Times Senator Al Franken accused of groping a woman in 2006 National Review report Al Franken groped the radio host in 2006 Washington Post Al Franken kissed and groped me without my consent Broadcaster Leanne Tweeden says some women's rights advocates chafe at the media's delicate approach which has been pretty consistent across a range of editorial perspectives. I'm a lawyer, and I understand why lawyers advise this sort of qualification, to try to avoid libel claims, said Camille Hebert, a professor at Ohio State University's Moritz College of Law who specializes in UAL harassment. But, Moritz added, these sorts of qualifiers are incredibly frustrating for people like me and others, who advocate against UAL harassment and assault. In this situation, at least, it seems to me that the media might be going beyond cautious and instead leaving the impression that we can't even believe women's claims of harassment and assault when our eyes and pictures provide proof that it happened. This leads to the impression that women's claims certainly should not be trusted when there is no such documentary evidence. Deborah S. Katz, a partner at Katz, Marshall Banks in Washington, agreed that news outlets should unequivocally assert that Frank and groped Sweden. The photo clearly shows that Franken groped, fondled, grabbed, touched the breasts of a sleeping woman, Katz said. And, yes, in a clear-cut instance like this, there is no reason to say alleged. He admitted the behavior and acknowledged that it was inappropriate. Franken's admission was very carry-worded, however. Note, in the excerpt below, how he addresses the picture without actually saying that he did what the picture shows I don't know what was in my head when I took that picture, and it doesn't matter. There's no excuse, I look at it now, and I feel disgusted with myself, it isnt funny. It's completely inappropriate, it's obvious how Leanne would feel violated by that picture. An Associated Press spokeswoman told me that, in the story, we seek to reflect what is the accusation and what the apology refers to, and we will continue to do so. I asked the other news outlets whose headlines appear above why they decided to tread so carry. Jesse Lewis, the Washington Post's style master, told me that we use allegedly when we're reporting a charge or accusation that someone is making against someone else. Usually in these instances, we don't know if the situation happened or not. While there is a photograph of Franken touching Tweedon's chest, there is no equivalent evidence to corroborate Tweedon's claim that Franken, in a separate incident, kissed her and forced his tongue in her mouth during rehearsal for a skit to be performed in front of U.S. troops. Franken said in a statement that he does not remember the rehearsal for the skit as Leanne does. National Review editor Rich Lowry offered this theory I think people are simply used to putting alleged in front of any offense. He noted that at his magazine, different writers have described it differently. Meryl Perlman, a former New York Times copy desk director, explained why she would advise against a flat-out declaration that Franken groped Sweden since it's a still image, we don't know what he did before or after. So the safest thing is to say he touched her chest. We can't assume that Franken squeezed her chest, or moved his hands in a groping movement, or touched her in this one movement and withdrew his hands. Groping implies action. The safest and most accurate course is to say that the photo clearly shows him touching her chest with his hands cupped while mugging for the camera, maybe. That's descriptive of the photo and avoids any journalistic assumption of what the action was. For various reasons, many news outlets have exercised linguistic restraint in their coverage of Franken and Tweeden, to the chagrin of some advocates who would like the media to be bolder.